Let's go, Titans fans. What's up, baby? How are we all holding up? Teutonians, what's up, baby? How we doing, fellas? How we doing, fellas? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Damn, it's fucking... Why is it so cold in here? What the fuck? Um, I want to say what's up to everybody. Uh, the Tennessee Titans... There's, there's a lot going on, you guys, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. We're, like, so close. Like, I mean... It's crazy to think how close we are to the NFL draft. Hell, we're even closer to my birthday, fellas. We're even closer to my birthday. So, again, man, I'm excited about everything. I'm excited about the, you know, the the, the direction of this team, um, all the dogs that we have, the mentality. I'm just, I'm just, I'm excited about football, man. I'm so excited. Football is back, um, and uh, we're we're not going to be a team that's just going to be, uh, you know, you know, not ready to go. You know, these last few years, a lot of a lot of it's been terrible drafts and bad, uh, you know, injuries and terrible coaching. And, you know, this I mean, I could go on for days. Not anymore, bro. Winning is going to happen again. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy, bro. I'm so happy. Also, you guys, man, make sure y'all check me out on TikTok, bro. We're getting ready to try to take TikTok to the next level. TikTok allows you to play music like like when you're live, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, YouTube doesn't allow that. That's so stupid. It's so dumb. So I was like, well, I mean, shit. TikTok sounds like it'd be a lot more fun to be live. I'm just going to be honest. I'm just going to be honest. Just just imagine me playing those the highlights and the music and everything like that while being live on TikTok. YouTube don't allow that. TikTok, you could do all that shit. So I was thinking about it. I was like, damn, bro, that shit would be fun, bro. That shit would be real fun to... To be able to actually listen, like have mute, or maybe maybe we'll just post the link on here or something. Be like music night. We'll be live on TikTok tonight, something like that. We'll play music or we'll do highlights or something like that. There's ways to go about it. It just sucks that uh that YouTube is so far behind, so far behind. It's crazy. How you guys all doing over there, man? Everybody in the building. How you guys feeling? What's up, Titanus? Titanus in the building. How you doing, bro? Yeah, I just I had to get a quick live stream, man. We'll probably be live for about an hour or so. Uh, I just wanted to come out here and talk to you guys a little bit. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of stuff is coming. Um, Madden, I, I told everybody, and I was it Titanus or I can't remember who it was. Let me know in the chat section below. But uh, somebody was like, because everybody knows that I used to play Madden all the time, uh, but now I'm gonna play Madden at a higher level and uh, and and live stream it and stuff like that for you guys. I never really did it at, at that level. Just played, you know, in general. Uh, so we're going to be bringing Matt. I wanted to wait for the new game. I don't know if I'll be able to wait for the new game, you guys. I'm I'm itching to get back on those, you know, the PS5, those sticks. I'm ready to get back on there and and, and doing some late night Madden streams. I think I think the, the the day streams will be mostly like conversations and stuff. Uh but I think that we could do a lot of fun stuff with Madden. I think uh I mean I played Madden my whole life. You know, I I started out on Game Day 98 with uh, was it 98 I think with Terrell Davis on the front. <laughs> I believe it was game day 98 was the first uh, the first uh, game I play and then Madden 99 and after I think it was game day 90 1998 with uh, with uh, Terrell Davis somebody let me know if I'm right if I'm correct on that I'm pretty sure I am what's up Willow what's up Derek what's up 44 Rachel how you doing um, uh, Kenzie how you doing Kenzie said did you know the Titans traded Jeffrey Simmons <laughs> that's impossible uh, get your flow back now so you're ready for 25. Hey, we ready, bro. We're ready to go, man. We're just, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, uh, may, maybe get that, maybe get last year's game. It's probably like for free, basically, nowadays. Uh, get the setup. My, my, my birthday's coming up, so I think I'm gonna, you know, uh, wifey was asking about what, what do you want? And I was like, I need a monitor, you know, a, a, an LG OLED monitor, you know, fucking 55K resolution. <laughs> Imagine playing the PS5 on that bad boy, live streaming it for you guys. That'd be sick, bro. So, yeah, I want to get back into Madden and do that a lot. Almost every night we'll be doing Madden. Um, I just feel like the conversations and stuff, it's cool. We can talk, but we could talk and play Madden, watch Madden, and talk shit to those losers that we're playing against online at the same time. So, uh, we're going to do everything we can to, again, make this the most interactive place you can go. Like, uh, food reviews, game day drinks, you know, everything. Uh, we could be live doing any, it doesn't matter. Like, like it's endless over here. So uh, hopefully everybody's excited and ready for the future of what's going to happen over here on this channel. Because I'm excited, bro. I really am. I'm excited to see what we're going to do, how this team's going to move forward. 
It's gonna be fun, man. I'm excited about it. It's gonna be fun, man. I'm excited. Right, I'm gonna turn this one down so I can kind of. Uh, I got my other phone so I could see the uh, the comments a little bit better. Look how pretty it is. Isn't it pretty in San Diego today? You guys tell me, bro. This should look pretty. I don't know. My other phone don't go as bright. Sucks, but whatever. Uh, what's up, Julian? Flame Cash says, "Can we get Vince Young back?" <laughs> hey, Vince Young got knocked the fuck out, bro. I know y'all seen that. I know you guys seen that, bro. Like, uh, what, what was it? Maybe a month ago now, Vince Young got knocked the fuck out, bro. Whenever you're, if you're at a bar, which is stupid anyway, like, like to be honest, like, like Vince Young don't need to be at a bar like that. Like, that's crazy to me, especially trying to be aggressive and stuff. It makes no sense. Regardless, if that's what you want to do, you could do that. But if my point is, if you're gonna go face to face with somebody, and I mean, he's a foot taller than the dude, too. <laughs> and uh, you know, if you're gonna be talking a lot of shit, going back and forth, um, and then a big brawl kind of breaks out from it, it's probably best not to take your eyes off of the guy you were talking shit to. Vince Young completely just tries to break up another fight that you know would make no sense, and the other guy just clocks him from the side. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. You wanna. You want to be, I mean, I'm, I'll be 34 on the 23rd. Vince Young's all obviously older than me. So what is he, 40? How, does anybody in the, in the chat know how old Vince Young is? But my point is like, why, what, you, like, that's embarrassing, bro. You don't need to be 40 years old going around trying to start fights, bro. Like, come on, man. Especially when you're, a, you're still like a pretty, you're, you're a public figure, especially like, you know, around Texas and, and, you know, you're one of the greatest college quarterbacks ever. Uh, you know, there's a lot that it's crazy. It's just crazy to see that. But yeah, knock the fuck out cold, bro. He got slept. His big ass dropped. Like you know when when uh, um, you know when you hit somebody. Well, most people don't know, but if you hit somebody and they're not looking, ninety nine percent ninety nine percent of the time because their body's not going to be tensed up, ready for a punch. If you hit them in a in a sweet spot, they're gonna their their legs are just gonna give out. That's what it looked like. It literally looked. I hate to say this as a as a. Uh, as a, a reference or, or whatever, but like, like you know how the Twin Towers fell? You know what I'm saying? Just pff, like they crumbled. Or even Justin Gaethje yesterday, bro. Like, um, yeah, it was crazy, bro. Um, yeah, and he's heavy too. He's a heavier guy. So, I mean, who knows? How, I couldn't see how he, like he just crumbled. I don't know how, I don't know how the back of his head. I, I didn't even look into the story to see like if he said anything or if he replied or anything like that, but he got knocked out, bro. Completely dropped slept he was asleep uh stevie says did my own mock draft today and btj uh it's in the first round tighten up hey it's gonna be interesting to see i'm gonna put this over here real quick that's just getting a little too too crazy let me let me fix this up real quick hold up you guys it's a little crazy today I'm trying to make this a little bit better so we can talk for a second i want to be able to talk to y'all for a little bit today feel me yeah but uh yeah, I'm not really sure. He says you can't spell tight. What's up, Hoosier man? How you doing, bro? How's it going, big dog? Flame says, see Jeff Fisher ruin career on the field and off the field. 38, what's up? What's up, awesomeness? What's up, Titan South? Flame says, Tom Brady played till 45. Vince, Vince least got a year on him. How old? Does anybody know how old he is? He's thirty eight. Is that what the, is that what you is that what you meant, Flame? Okay, so he's thirty eight years old. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. I knew he was older than me, obviously, but yeah, just imagine, just imagine. That's crazy. And now, like, that's the most. Like, people are always gonna remember what you did in college. That's cool. You won it. You know, you did good. But everyone's gonna look at it, like that most recent thing that happened, and it's. That'll never go away. It's on the internet, bro. That's why it's like, I wouldn't even try to start problems like that at a bar. Uh, especially if you're not get like, if you're going to do all that talking and getting in people's face, then like, you got to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially when the fight is going off and you know people are fighting. Like, why would you let your defense down like that? Like, where's the peripheral vision? Your peripheral vision was pretty good on the football field. <laughs> like, you you were able to run around and, and make guys miss all the time, but... Man, it's a sad story, bro. It is a fucking sad story because Vince Young is, he was good. Man, I was so excited when we drafted Vince Young. I had a Vince Young baby blue jersey. I was a big ass fan of Vince Young, man. And anyone that says that they were a Titans fan but didn't like Vince Young, you're lying, bro. Vince Young was dope. 
And yeah, he had issues and stuff. And yeah, he didn't throw for a fucking a million yards, but he won football games. Someone in the, in the chat put his win-loss record. You'll be surprised. I can't remember what it is, but he he had, he had he won way more games and loss. Like, it's pretty impressive, to be honest, given the circumstances that he was in. Uh, he actually did pretty good. Everybody remembers that 99-yard touchdown, his long uh, game-winning touchdown versus the Texans. Like, he had a lot of great plays, bro. Like, let, let's, not, let's not forget about what he did. But it is pretty sad. Uh, let's see. Uh, Stevie says, you never know. Some people are knockout artists. That's true. It, don't let, look, let me explain to you something. Don't let people fool you. Just because they're six foot four, 300 pounds, and, and, uh, and, and, and they could bench press a billion pounds, like, it doesn't mean they know how to throw a punch. Throwing a punch, you have to have your base. You have to have your base, and then you go with it. You have to be able to know what you're doing. You can't just stand up and throw a hard... If you, <laughs> that's why it's funny. A lot of the times you see a lot of these videos of people fighting, and they're over there standing up like this and then throwing punches, and it looks like... And they're going backwards and off their... There's no balance. If I'm standing here like this, and I wham, and I get all of that into it through the lower body, you're going out in one fucking hit if I get you right. But it's just funny because you, you see all these big guys who who talk so much shit and are probably so used to not fighting people because people are so scared of them. But when it comes down to it, they have no idea what they're doing. And then they're like a turtle. When they're on their back, they can't flip back over and get up. <laughs> oh, man, I find that shit funny, bro. I'm sorry. They're fucking turtles, man. Yeah, don't let anybody fool you on that. What's up, Titan South, man, my guy? Uh, TW, what? TKW says, did you hear about OJ's death? Uh, really stabbed me in the heart. Yeah, I don't really, I don't know. I, I didn't really get into, you know, the OJ thing. I never really cared. Isn't OJ Simpson, uh, he's Khloe Kardashian's dad, right? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that was Khloe Kardashian's dad. There ain't no way Khloe, Khloe Kardashian's built, built like Derrick Henry without him being the dad. I'm sorry. And she don't look nothing like the other daughters at all. So, uh, yeah, man, it's. I don't know the situation. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna be. I'm. I don't even know nothing about. I don't. You know what I'm saying. I know. I know him as like that great football player. I never really looked into the shit that he did or did not do. Um, but yeah, I, I know a lot of people uh, weren't happy with you know his situation or whatever. But you know, on the football field, it's undeniable what he was capable. What he was capable of. Uh, he was one of the one of the ones who put out some special seasons on that. You know, on that green 100 yard field, bro. So. On the football field, he's special. Everybody can't, you can't deny that. Uh, off the field, you know, you could, you know, you could do your own homework on that, on that, I guess. Hey, how are we looking though? I'm looking at the other phone right now because I can't even see the glare is crazy, but it looks good, man. It's a beautiful day in sunny San Diego. Make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys are feeling generous, we have cash at money sign Titan Anderson and we have the almighty super chat. What's up? Rachel, hell yeah. Let's go, let's go, go and tighten up homies what's up rachel lord titan says titans tighten up what's up lord titan eight is that a mario titan titan mario okay i dig it are you new to the channel that's cool man titanus says tk didn't he literally murder people when you feel bad that's what i'm saying i don't even know like uh i don't really know the situation that's why i i wasn't commenting on it like that i was only talking about his football stuff because i don't even i probably should know but um i just like i said i i don't I, I just never really cared to go out of my way to look up O.J. Simpson. It was before my time anyway. Like, he was way before my time. Uh, TKW says, Bill's up. What does that even mean? What does Bill's up mean? All I see, all I know from is the Bill's is a broken down team that got, that got uh, demolished by the, <laughs> like, like, uh, it got demolished by the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 fucking Buffalo Bills, your whole team, your whole team, man. You had if if Patrick Mahomes, y'all are like it's funny because it's like Michael Jordan, right? You have all these good ass teams, the Jazz, and all these other crazy ass teams throughout the years trying to win championships in the Jordan era, and they couldn't do it. But if he wasn't there, they'd probably win a bunch or at least one, right? Uh, you figure. You figure that Josh Allen and that crazy ass Bills team would have won at least one Super Bowl, at least get to one. Nope. Patrick Mahomes completely shit on you guys. No diaper. And I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's funny. I hate Patrick Mahomes. I hate the Chiefs. But uh, me and my wife both respect the hell out of Patrick Mahomes as a football player. He does some amazing stuff on the football field, whether you like him or dislike. It's the same thing with Peyton Manning. I hate fucking Peyton Manning and his fucking 14 inch forehead. Fuck Peyton Manning. 
but he's great. Greatness. I mean, at the end of the, you got to respect it. it. It is what it is. You got to be realistic at some point. The dude, Patrick Mahomes, this is his era right now. This is his era, and I want to be a part of breaking that shit apart. What did we do to the Tom Brady uh, dynasty, Patriot dynasty? Who broke it? We did. We did. <laughs> I want to be a part of. Uh, I, I want to be a part of that that movement, making these guys, uh, you, you know, ending that Chiefs dynasty. I want to be a part of that. And, and I I think the Chiefs are going to be around a long time, as long as 15's back there. You're going to have to worry about them. So all these people that are saying, oh, you know, they'll never win another Super Bowl. They'll never. You, you can say that. You can say that, but the facts are, are, are facts. They're going to continue to compete for Super Bowls. It's a, it is what it is. We, we have to accept that. If you can't accept that, it is what it is. Tough shit for you. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that they've got to win another one. It doesn't mean that they are going to win another one. Let's go and shit on that. Let's create another team because the Bills are trash. Bills, you guys can get the fuck in the back of the line. We'll take your spots and we'll jump in front of the line. And, and hell, the Texans are up there too. We got a bunch of new teams trying to dethrone these fucking Chiefs. That, 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 that's what it is. That's what we're trying to do. A lot of these other teams breaking down at the top, trying to stay at that level with the Chiefs, and it hasn't worked. The Bills, you guys have failed. Josh Allen, you have failed. In the playoffs, all Josh Allen does is try to turn into Cam Newton and run the football. Not going to work in the playoffs, bro. In the regular season, yeah, you can run the football, do your little hybrid running back quarterback bullshit and win 10 plus games every year. That's the regular season where you're not playing division winners and amazing top of the top every game. In the playoffs is winner, winner, winner every time. You got to stack up those W's, bro, like Legos. It's no joke. The playoffs ain't the regular season and the Bills are getting exposed and that's why their team is broken. The regular season Bills have been broken. They, they, they shit the bed, no diaper in the playoffs. And that's because of the Chiefs. It is what it is. It is what it is. Real recognize real. And we're all chasing the Chiefs. If anybody says that they're not chasing the Chiefs, you're a liar or you're in denial. Let's all chase the Chiefs and let's all kick them off of that high horse and fucking curb stomp them. Enough of that fucking Kansas City Chiefs ketchup and mustard bullshit. It's time for the Titans to take over. Come on, bro. He said, did the Titans trade uh, Jeffrey Simmons? You out of your fucking mind, bro. What up, Adrian? What up, squad? 11 days away. NFL draft, baby. My birthday's coming up, too. Let's go, man. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. But, yeah, we're going to get Madden involved with you guys again. We're going to be getting Madden going like crazy, bro. We're going to be uploading the clips, the crazy reactions, and everything. We're really ready to push that. Uh, because, like I said, I used to play. I remember on Xbox 360, uh, I used to play Madden uh, 09 almost every day. Like, I had one of the craziest records from online, you know, versus mode or whatever the fuck it's called. And I, I would uh, I would just pick um, the Lions. And I would put in Dante Culpepper at uh, quarterback. And I would throw the ball deep to Megatron. <laughs> I would throw the ball deep to Megatron. And he would just catch it every time. Double, triple, single. It don't matter what the fuck you did. Madden 09 was glitched for Megatron. I'm just gonna keep it a hundred. I'm gonna keep it. A, I'm gonna keep. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Megatron and Madden 09. You put in Dante Culpepper. Sorry, ass. Just because he could throw the ball like what was it, 98 throwing power or some shit like that. Easy money. Easy money. But I, that I played that Madden so fucking much, man. Uh, so again, it, w w when we start getting back on the Madden high horse. Uh, you know, uh, the bike or whatever you want to call it. It may take a second for me to get my, you know, to get it going, but. I, I'm real good at Madden. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not TD Barrett or anything, but I'm real good at Madden. I played Madden for years daily. So again, we're gonna get back on that. I can't wait. He says, Squad, how you get that Titan logo? Squad! You gotta become a member, bro. Make sure you guys hit that channel membership. It's only $2.99. We're live every single fucking day, bro. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys subscribe We're live every single day. Tighten up, y'all. Tighten up. He said, member? He said, KC. <laughs> yes, sir. What's up, fellas? He says, KC will cook your Titans. Dude, you you need to understand something. We almost, we almost fucking... You guys remember when, uh, when we beat the Chiefs? 
when uh, Jeffrey Simmons and them boys didn't even give up a touchdown to Mahomes and Mahomes got bent in half like a fucking pretzel. Do you guys remember that? So I don't know what you're talking about. And that team that we beat you with was nowhere near the team that we're building right now. Again, everybody can continue to doubt the Titans, continue to take their jabs and say we suck, whatever. That's fine. But when you play this team this year and you're looking across the field and you're looking at that team that you thought was the same bullshit team from last year, <laughs> pay attention, buddy. You're going to get the sauce, bro. What's up, JR? Mike Cole says Casey and Titans were some damn good games. They're always good games, bro. That's what I'm saying. These, like, I, I wish more people on here, like, even if you don't like me or like my team, that's cool, bro. But I wish more people were realistic. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more realistic with, with how they talk and how, they, you know, and shit like that. Because it's like, come on, bro. Ain't nobody even, like, even last year, ain't nobody even really beating on the Titans. You're beating us, but you're not really, like, how many games did we lose by one score or less? Like, that's crazy. And we were, we were so unhealthy. We had terrible coaching. We had injuries everywhere like come on bro what do we got what are we talking about 44 tv says as a, as a giants fan what can i expect from the coordinator shane bowen not much bro not much but shane bowen is a lot better than the offensive coordinators we had i think shane bowen was honestly a little bit limited you know we had a lot of issues you know a lot of issues especially with injuries and and and, and you know the list goes on with with the issues that we've had but um I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of him. I don't think he really did that great. Um, but again, uh, I think I think he has a real opportunity to show what he can do uh, if you guys give him the right players and just make sure everybody's healthy. I think that's the main thing. Give him a give him a roster uh, that that's full of guys that are ready to play football. You know what I mean? I think that's the only fair thing to do because he hasn't he hasn't really had that over here with the Tennessee Titans. We've been banged the fuck up, and I'm gonna keep it a band. What up, Liam Rules? I'm back. Uh, Anderson tight you can call me TA bro you don't got to do the backwards thing I feel like I'm like you know what I'm saying I feel like I'm in I'm, I'm at like like the library or something it's crazy Titan South says the 2019 regular season game versus Casey was dy dynamic bro seems like all the games we play the Chiefs are dynamic let's keep it a ban <clears throat> I love it bro what's up IR Hoshi I love it JR says Mike Vrabel was so bad. <laughs> horrible staff hires zero. Uh, horrible staff hires zero development. Couldn't eye talent. Lost the locker room, etc. I'm so thankful we changed our direction as a franchise. Seeing real ones know. Real ones understand what you're talking about. Because, dude, how many times did we need in-game adjustments and he just sat there and looked like he smelt shit on someone's shoe? Like, this is crazy, bro. Mike Vrabel would turn into a tomato can fast as shit. He says, talking about the playoffs. Playoffs? <laughs> I love it. I love it. What's up, Kingston? Nah, we ain't saying shit. Sorry, buddy. Cottonmouth says, I'd worry about beating the Texans first, then the Chiefs. I'm worried about beating everybody, big dog. I'm worried about beating everybody. Everybody. And you as a Texans fan, stop worrying about my fucking love you blue jerseys. They're not yours. So stop crying about it. Every time I'm live, someone's fucking crying about it. There are there are Oilers uniforms. Fuck the Titans. What the hell's wrong with you? Jesus Christ. Crying over and over about some fucking jersey. I mean, let's give it a band. They fire as fuck. Them love you blue Oilers, the new ones. Woohoo! Man, they cleaner than Mr. Clean, you feel me? But I'm telling you, that's not our problem. Again, we can get, we can, that's a whole nother video, another topic, another day. Y'all, y'all lost the team. Y'all gave it up. Y'all didn't care. Whatever. That's y'all fault, not mine. Uh, we're going to continue to rock them and love them and support them. So shout out to you guys and salute. <laughs> I love it, man. So many people are so upset about that. It's crazy. Like, just fucking move on. Y'all got new uniforms. Quit fucking crying. What up, uh, Titanium Chris? What up, bro? Are you going to the uh, you going to the Charger game, bro? We're gonna hit that one up, man. We gotta go hardcore for that game. I'm gonna vlog the whole fucking thing, bro. I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. Uh, I got the the brand new iPhone Max Pro. Is it Pro Max or Max Pro? I should know how to say it, but I don't know what it is. iPhone Max Pro or Pro Max 15? Uh, the t blue Titanium. That's the phone that I have now. So I'm gonna record everything, bro. I'm gonna record everything when I go there. And then upload it as like an hour video or something like that. It'll be dope as fuck. So I can't wait for that. That's going to be a really good show. 
Hopefully we win that one too. Last time at the Sunday night football game against the Rams, we shit on them, no diapers. So hopefully we can do the same to the sorry ass charters. Richard Duggins, go Patriots. Okay. Who do you hey who hey Richard, who do you guys want to draft? Who does your Patriot who do you guys want your Patriots to draft? Let's go. Uh squad. Hey squad, you gotta get that uh get that what is that? A draw a drawing? You gotta get that squad logo in Titans colors, bro. You gotta get that squad. You gotta get that logo in Titans colors, my guy. Come on, bro. You've been here. I know I notice you. I notice you, bro. All my regulars don't think I don't see you. I got that Cyclops vision for a reason, bro. All the dumbass comments are highlighted in fucking dark blue and all the good shits in baby blue. So we got that two-tone vision to help clarify. You feel me? Mike Cole says Texans are paper uh good what? Are paper good? Chiefs are legit. We will see what the Texans actually are this season. Texans get to see a Titans team that they haven't seen. Y'all beat on a team that was fucking a half a team last year. Uncoached, no direction, and now we got it all. Let's go, baby. CJ Stroud. I call you Jason Voorhees for a reason. We got Willie Rocket, though, bro. Let's go to war. That's what we want. Come on, baby. Tighten up, bro. He said, Kinks is the same thing in Dreamcast, Culpepper to Moss. <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I, I really, uh, I use them a lot. Obviously, I use, I always use the Titans as well. Um, you know, you got, you got CJ2K. CJ2K was probably the most unstoppable Titan I've ever used in a video game. <laughs> He's so fast, bro. Like, all you got to do is throw a screen or a toss play or a fucking anything. And Chris Johnson's gone, man. He's gone. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun playing Madden. So I can't wait. Next next time when we get Madden, we're only going to use the Titans. We ain't using no other team. So we'll be having uh, Tony Pollard at fullback. <laughs> we'll be having Ty J at running back. We'll be having, uh, you know, uh, Calvin uh, Ridley and, and D-Hop on the outsides. Burks will be the middle for right now, I guess. It'll be fun, man. We're going to have some fun. Uh, AJ Holiday, 49er fan, says, do you like the 49ers? I don't dislike them. I don't dislike them. I was, I was hoping that you, I didn't think you were going to win the Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl, but I was rooting for you guys. Stevie BOE says, do a mock draft for his TA. <laughs> Maybe later, bro. Yeah. Cassidy says, uh, Jacksonville is going to win the division. Texans will get second. Titans will get third. And Indy will get fourth. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'll respect. I got to respect it. I'll respect it. Re believe You can believe what you want to believe. It is what it is. Uh, Stevie says, I can't believe someone talked Vrabel into wearing that cowboy hat on his way out. LOL. Vrabel's a fucking tomato can, man. I, I'm so disappointed in him. It's like he didn't even try to start winning towards the end. He was just trying to leave. It was like pathetic watching him coach. What up, Claps? How you doing, buddy? Uh, Denicia Al Alawami, that's a crazy name right there. Uh, yes, that part, the Titans will forever be awesome. We're going to be fire for a minute. We're going to be fire for a minute, whether people want to accept it or not. It's in our logo. You see that? It's in our fucking logo for a reason. We are fire, man. We blew fire, but we, we just, you know, we're going to burn different this year. We're going to burn different this year. Hell yeah, TC. Titanium Chris, I'm going to be there too, bro. Jay says Titans are weak. You're weak in that sorry ass logo you got. Oh, you ain't got a logo. Shit's dry, bro. <laughs> 44 says Texans are going to take the Titans to court for those jerseys. This is impossible. Titans have already given season assist uh, to the sorry ass Houston. What are they? The Houston Cougars for, for stealing our colors, you fucking weirdos. Stop stealing our colors, bro. Y'all are so butthurt. You're even having your high school and college teams taking our colors that's crazy to me bro let's start there what's up ec3 i appreciate you bro aaron aaron the wrench baker says texans all injured when we played the titans we were way more injured look at this fucking are you kidding me what are you talking about this guy is crazy it's all good though we're gonna play you twice this year we're going to play you twice this year. There's no running from it. One of those games will be in Love You Blue. <laughs> oh, you better hope you sweep us this year. Because if we beat you even one time, I'm talking shit for days. Because everyone thinks Titans suck. 
Every single one of you guys is saying the Titans are finishing third or fourth. So there ain't no fucking reason. There's no way possible Titans beat you even once, right? There's no way we split even this year. If the Titans suck so bad, don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. I'm just going to say that. Squad says, I would change my colors, but this is my logo for my surf company. LOL. Although it would look better in two-tone blue. Yeah, man, it's a surf logo, but you know, it, turn that surf logo into a Titan surf logo, yo. Come on, man, tighten up. Hey, everybody spam Titans in caps if you fucking with the two-tone blue, baby. Come on, man, get those thumbs up, hit subscribe. Join us for all future notification. Come on, man, we drop in all the live streams possible as much as we possibly can. Hanging out as much as possible. We got the draft right around the corner. Crazy, man. Hyde says D-Hop and Ridley going to go crazy. Facts, bro. Uh, B-Ville says uh, they got to go back to the white helmets. Those navy blues those just don't look right. You're, you, 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 you have to be an uh, undercover cult fan or something, bro. Uh, the good thing about it, Mr. Boville, Bobcat, whatever, Bobcat, there's a third helmet that's been approved. What, what's the next helmet y'all want to see back? If it's not that fucking white Titans helmet... Oh, bro. Come on, bro. You got to bring back the white Titans helmet. That's the OG. That's the original Titans, bro. And that's and I, I like the new uniforms better. I'm going to keep it a band. I like our blue. I like the shoulder pads with the swords. I like all that shit. It looks great. But there is no reason why we shouldn't make a throwback to the old Titans, the, the original OG Titans. Throw on the white helmets, baby. Throw on those old school Eddie Georges and let's go to work, bro. Who's not down for that? Come on. That needs to be the third helmet. I love it, bro. 44TV says all betting sites have the Titans under seven wins, but I don't believe that. I think they're a nine-win team at least. I think it just kind of, it's going to be, it, it's going to, a lot of it's going to depend on, um, a lot of it's going to depend on the draft, I think. I think that's going to be a big part of it, you guys. I think that's going to be a big part of it is the draft. I love this, man. <laughs> yep. Uh, yes, that's what I'm saying. The white helmets are badass. That's what Boville said. I'm t or Bobcat said. I'm telling you, bro. I'm with you. The white helmets are fine. I, I, I don't dislike them. I love them. I just liked our, I like our upgraded look better. Um... You know, I, I I think we've been blessed, bro. Like, I, everybody knows I'm not a fan of the Euler Tower. I think it's, it is what it is. The colors are great. Um, but uh, the Titans logo is perfection. Perfection. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know. Uh, there was a two, there was a two helmet race for the new helmet after leaving the white. It was between this one that you see here. And the other one was going to be a mirror, a, a, a literal, like, you know, not silver, but a, a reflective mirror that was going to be the color. Uh, and, and the, and, and the, the, the logo wasn't going to be this. It was going to be flames on each side of the helmet going up. It was just going to be the flames, no more the thumbtack thing. That was the backup design that almost, uh, that almost went into play, um, to be honest, that would have looked sick. Think about that. A mirror, a reflect, but then that would have been weird, bro. I don't I don't know why they but the, yeah, that's that's from um that that's what didn't win, obviously. But that's interesting to think. Uh if the Titans logo went to a new logo and instead of the whole T and flames, they just put the big flames on the side. That would be interesting. I'd be okay with that. That'd still be cool, even though I love the flaming T. What do you guys think about that? How would how would you guys think about that? What I'm over here drinking it the other way. You guys let me know. It's getting hot, bro. <laughs> he, uh, the honey says, oh, no to the white. Just my opinion. I'm loving the blue. Maybe red. Yeah, red can't. Nah, I don't think red could happen. That'd be crazy, though. Mike Cole says, new, new Titans helmet. White Titans helmet and the blue Oilers helmet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I don't want two Oilers, though. That's the thing. I, I wouldn't mind it. I'm not saying I'm against it, but I think it would be, it would be too much homage to the oilers it's like don't forget who the fuck we are we're the titans like don't forget about like the white is where it all started so if if there's another helmet it has to be the white 
we already got the Oilers. Like that's like w that's already good enough. Like we don't we need to bring back the white helmet. That, that there's no ifs ands or buts about that. Uh, Primula says, "Watch Levis become a beast, and we get uh, twelve wins. It's possible. There's always been situations like that, and our team doesn't suck. We 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 may not be fully equipped yet, but we're getting there." Abraham, excuse me, says, uh, "Who do you want with the Titans' seventh pick?" Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, Joe Alt, or trade back. That's it. That's it. Uh, squad says Titans logo is top three in the league. I love it. Titans logo is beautiful. Beautiful. Titan Sal says, what if they make a silver helmet with flames or a baby blue helmet? Titan Thor says, I like the sword. <laughs> Nose says, what a nerd. Go Raiders. You're a fucking nerd. <laughs> what a hater, bro, man. Come on, bro. You know, dad. Come on, man. You ain't got to be hating. Uh, Michael M says, I can see my reflection in your glasses, TA. You know what I'm saying? We keep these bitches clean, man. Look at... You think I'm kidding, man. I literally travel with these things. You know what I'm saying? It's like no joke. We take them... For damn near $400, you better take care of them. Mike Cole says, I'd swap that Oilers helmet we got out now with the blue one, in my opinion. I think the white one is 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 good. I think the blue one that we wore with Chris Johnson and... Uh, and, you know, Vince Young and then boys. And then we even the, remember the white one we wore? The uh, Is the blue helmet with the white jerseys that we wore against the Pats? Like, uh, or was it the, um, was it the Pats and the, what was the other game? Or was it just one of them? You guys let me know. It was the blue Oilers helmet with the, with the white, uh, Oilers, white Oilers tops and bottoms. I know we wore, didn't, didn't we wear it against the Bills too? Ah, man, I, I can't remember. Did we wear it once or twice? I'm pretty sure we wore it against the, uh. Uh, that's what we wore against the um, the Patriots in the snow blowout game, right? And then I think we wore it against the Bills too. You guys, let me know. I can't. I can't remember. He says too soon. I hear you, bro. It's just it's part of history. You know what I'm saying? Boss says I just got here. What are you doing? I'm drinking Monster and I'm talking about football. <laughs> Crazy, bro. He said we got destroyed in that pass game, dude. I know it was so bad. Chris Johnson was the only good player. He like he had a pretty good game. Yeah, Chris Johnson had a good game. Did pretty well. Appreciate the new subscribers, man. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> yes, sir. We're just hanging out, man. We're just hanging out, having a good time. We're just hanging out, having a good time. Michael M says, I was just thinking Vrabel never said uh, thank you to Tennessee or anything to the fans. What a loser, right? Is that true? I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to Vrabel. Like, I'm just kind of over it. I got tired of him, like... I mean, earlier, early in this season, I started giving up on Vrabel. I'm just looking at him and thinking, like, does this guy even give a fuck? Like, you look at his demeanor, his facial expressions, his refusal to, uh, you know, make in-game adjustments. I'm just like, this guy's a clown, man. Like, what the fuck? How the, how did he win? How the, how the hell did he win Coach of the Year? Like, that Vrabel just disappeared like that. It's crazy. So it's wild, man, but it is what it is. Appreciate you, boss. Rachel says, fuck yes, going tooth plays tight. What? Yeah, I, she might be she might be on one right now. <laughs> oh, shit. That's crazy. Yeah, we're just chilling right now, you guys. We're just chilling right now, having a good time. NFL draft's creeping up, fellas. Who do you guys want to draft? Who do you guys want to draft? I think Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to go soon, really early. He'll be top five. Malik Neighbors or Joe Alt is a real possibility to joining the Titans for sure. But then again, we'll see, right? Trading back. You know, a lot of these nerdy-ass teams like the Vikings and the Raiders and whoever else may want to trade up and get one of those, you know, quarterbacks that have fallen to seven because I'm sure there will be one. I'm sure one of those quarterbacks will be available. Uh, squad says procrastinate network while watching TV. TA is fine. <laughs> he says the life. That's funny, bro. Yeah, we just like I said, man. We we just wanted to go live for a little while and talk and kind of just see what's up. It's been a minute. Um, still making adjustments and trying to figure out this monitor thing. I want to get a really good one. I want that OLED, man. That shit's it looks pretty as fuck. And then I can even watch the games on it too. I have a big ass, uh, big ass flat screen TV, but, um, yeah. 
Mike Cole says, yeah, Blue Helmet was 2009 snow game against the Pats, and we got smacked like a child in that game. I'm pretty sure we wore that again, though. Didn't we wear the blue the blue Oiler helmet in the white top bottom again against the Bills? Didn't we wear them once against the Bills and Chris Johnson shitted on them? I'm, was it that one or was it the blue tops that we wore against them? It might have been the blue tops. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I could check, though. I'll find it. Yeah, let me see. Titans versus Bills. Um, Oilers. We're going to see if we can find it. Two thousand twelve. Okay, that's definitely not it. Uh, well, de okay, yeah, we wore them against the Patriots for sure. I just, I'm pretty sure we wore them again. I just, I can't remember, you guys. I'm sorry. If I remember later, I'll, I'll bring it up. I just don't remember. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember. All right, what's up, fellas? How we doing? How we all doing, fellas? get back into this real quick let me uh take that off titan anderson let's go uh elite curry says speaking of the draft and free agents is ryan on the team who was so desperate to pick him up bro ryan are you talking about ryan ryan Tannehill, dude ryan Tannehill's dude he's not a titan bro ryan Tannehill. I'll tell you what, man. I'm thankful for him and stuff, but it's just like it just got to a point where it was just like, that's it, bro. That's it. He could he lost his mobility. He lost his he couldn't find his balls when it came to throwing the ball down the field. Pause. Like it's crazy. Titan South says trade back at number 10 with the Jets for a third rounder. We probably still draft Joe Alt. That I would be fine with that. I'm gonna keep it a ban. Uh it'd be nice to get more, but <laughs> yeah. First game, Titans versus Ravens. Get it out of the way. Bro, I want to see who we're going to play. Like, when are we going to go to... When are we going to LA, bro? Like, I need to figure this out so I can, you know, book my life around it. Like, I need to go see the Titans and... I need to go see the Titans and the Chargers in LA, bro. I, I need to go. It is... Says, wow, tell me you're a football fan without telling me you're a football fan. It is what it is. <laughs> Uh, Aaron says, uh, I'm old school Oilers fan, but the Bud Adams disrespect and what he did to Houston fans and now wearing, um, and now wearing the throwbacks in Houston, we're going to smash the Titans in the mouth every time you wear it here. Aaron, you sound a little bit mad, bro. Are you mad? Are you a little bit upset that, you know, the, the, the Oilers went on to become the Titans and look great and you guys are the Texans and look like. You know, the Atlanta Falcons hand-me-down bullshit, you know, Ronald Weasley shit robes. Like, you, your new uniforms look terrible. They look like ass. So I get why you're upset. But don't be mad at us anymore. Why don't you guys just do something different? Why don't you just be called the... Um, the Houston Hot Dogs. <laughs> y'all like to barbecue hot dogs all day, right? How about y'all become the Houston Hot Dogs? Put a hot dog on your fucking helmet. And stop crying about it. Stop crying about it. Like, literally, let it go. It's, it's so crazy. Squad says, I've said it once and I'll continue to say it. Ryan Tannehill will never be forgiven for that Bengals game. Bro, Ryan Tannehill shit the bet on multiple Bengals games, bro. It's fucking crazy. Titan Thor says, you going live later? I don't know, man. We'll see. I got a lot. I got a lot of work to do, like, for the channel. Like, I mean, I can go live like this and stuff. But I want it to be, you know, I want it to be ready. I want it to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've been doing a lot of, that's what. That's why I, I uh, slowed down on the live streams is because I, I'm, I'm putting in a lot of work, you know, on, on, you know, Streamlabs and stuff like that for the new layouts and stuff. I want it to look good for you guys, uh, not just for when we go live like this. You know, this is always cool, but I want it to look good for, you know, for, you know, the, the watch parties and everything like that, the group hangouts and stuff. So it's been a lot of behind the scenes stuff that we've been working on. crazy bro stevie says we could be rivals with the texans the jazz jags suck anyway Dude, the jags are terrible bro fucking hate that team hey we got 
16 minutes to go, fellas. We got 16 minutes. That shit's kind of hot, though. It's all good. We got 16 minutes to go, fellas. We're going to chill for a little bit longer and hang out with y'all till the hour mark. So I appreciate you guys, man. I don't know why you just become a Titans. Dude, I wish more people would just become Titans fans. Like, literally. Like, I'm telling you. There's a... There's going to be a huge waiting line for you bandwagon fucking jumper, team jumpers. All I'm telling you, once once Will Levis is is dominating this year, y'all bitches aren't jumping over to the two-tone train. Y'all can sit on your bitch-ass wagons, but the two-tone train is going to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? We're going to water hose you bitches off if you try to jump on our train. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to throw blue, blue prime bottles at your head. You try to jump on this train. We don't want you fake bitches joining our team once we start winning. We know it's going to happen, but we don't want you. We're just going to keep it 100. I love it, man. Titan Sal says, so much shit is going to happen draft night. This draft class is loaded with talent. I'm excited, bro. Squad says, got to head back to work, TA. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for, uh, for the support, my guy. Zeke says the only reason the Titans are going to be good next season is because they spent all their money on better players. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? What are you supposed to spend your money on? Shit players? That doesn't make any sense, bro. You're weird. You're a goofball. That's what I'm saying. It, like Some of the shit that y'all say is crazy. I question your guys' is like, you know what I'm saying? Your sanity. Like, are you guys okay? Y'all need to check check in on that. It doesn't make any sense. Some of the stuff y'all say is crazy. It's out there. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to keep it 100. Mike says Titans are Titans are fully new coaches, players, schemes, everything new. We will see. And that's what I try to explain to people. But a lot of people don't even want to listen. A lot of people don't even want to listen, bro. They just want to sit there and just, you know what I'm saying, come up with excuses for the Titans not being a good team or not going to be able to win games. You know, all this craziness. It's crazy. But it is what it is. You can't You can't make everybody happy. You know what I mean? It is what it is. It's not that big a deal. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't really care. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. How we feeling, chat? What's up with it? What's up, guys? Where we where we where we checking in from? I'm in San Diego. Where we where we fucking with? We got anybody out of country? Anybody out of country right now, man? It's crazy. Somebody told me the other day that they were watching from uh, not Scotland. I gotten that before, but it was a crazy ass place, and I was like. Damn, bro, like, I can't remember what country it was, but it was cool, man. I was like, that's dope. Richard says the Philippines. That's what I'm talking about. Zeke says you took our cornerback. Okay, well, you must be a Chiefs fan then or a Bengals fan, one or the other. Elite says Arizona here. That's what's up. It's hot as fuck over there, huh? Up in, there, up in the AZ, bro. I got a buddy that, that lives up in Yuma, man. Last time I was up, it was a long time ago I was over there, but fucking hot, bro. Like, you go outside, you just want to, like, you don't even want... It's like fuck that. I can't be outside over there. I don't know how y'all do that. I remember when I went when I went to boot camp. They had a. Uh, I, I was in Chicago and it was the beginning of January when I went, and uh, I went outside and you and, and it was nighttime and I and I went outside, and I seen people walking outside in shorts and a shirt. And when I went outside, I'm fully, you know, wrapped up. Pause. Um, but I don't. I'm not wearing gloves or anything. I I. I I wasn't expecting, it's not snowing or anything. I go outside and um, the Chicago air, the Chicago air touches my face and my, my hands. And uh, I don't, I, <laughs> I, 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 uh, I still remember that feeling like, uh, it felt like someone slapped me like with needle, like cold needles, like it's crazy. And I didn't understand how people could get used to something like that. People were walking around in shirts and shorts and shit. It's crazy to me. Um, so it's like it's 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 weird. It, you could just like you know what I'm saying. You can get you could just get used to anything, I guess. But I I don't think I could ever get used to something as hot as Yuma or as cold as Chicago. It's just it. I mean, I guess I was spoiled, right? Being raised in shit in San Diego, not like Silver Spoon spoiled, but just uh, being in in San Diego weather wise spoiled. So it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Zeke says, uh, Richard says 91 here. Oh, he's a Chiefs fan. Obama said, I'm in North Korea. That's cool, bro. That's cool, man. 
stay safe over there. <laughs> uh, Rachel says, fuck yes. Hell yes. It's gonna fuck yes off. Fuck. Oh my God. Rachel's got a potty mouth. Zeke says, I'm in San Diego. That's what's up, man. Mike Cole says, Titan's finally a place to be, especially since we went and got good minds in the coaching. Bro, we, we took all the good coaches, bro. We took all the good, good coaches. Richard says, it's summertime in the Philippines right now. That's crazy. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Richard, you ever eat balut? I hope I'm saying that right, bro, because that's crazy, man. I don't even think, like, I'm going to be honest. I don't even know if someone could pay me to eat that. I think I would. All right, I'm lying. I think you could. I think you could. But I'd have to put it on my channel and stream it just, you know what I'm saying, just because I know the reaction will be insane. I mean, I'm either throwing up or, or passing out <laughs> oh man yeah bro uh mike says it's 39 here that's crazy 39 degrees is crazy i remember though when i was actually in boot camp um the coldest i felt uh but you're so wrapped up pause that you don't really feel much uh the only thing that was really showing was my eyes at, when we were marching around and it was fucking snowing like crazy uh it, it, it was up to negative 11 uh, i believe is what they said how cold it was outside uh, so th that's the coldest I've ever felt was negative 11. That's the coldest I've ever felt. And uh, yeah, it, it feels um, it, it feels like it's impossible, like impossible to, to do anything. That's why I was like, fuck that, bro. San Diego all day. It's crazy, bro. Big Matt says, can't wait for the season to start. I, I hear you, bro. I hear you. Everybody's ready, bro. Everybody's excited. Richard says, no, hell no, not eating that shit. It's crazy. Hey, people be eating it though, bro. I got some Filipino friends that uh, that have tried to fuck with me and have me eat that shit. I'm like, y'all are fucking crazy. Cause there's a there's a big Filipino uh, there's a big Filipino. What do you call that? Like when there's a bunch of Filipino people uh, around where you you know in the city. San Diego has a has a lot of Filipinos in San Diego in different areas like National City, Chula Vista, uh, Mira Mesa, Miramar. There's a lot of Filipino areas uh, that have a lot of Filipino people. Um, so I'm I'm pretty familiar with it. It's pretty crazy though. It's pretty crazy. Uh, Filipino barbecue, by the way, is fire, fire, y'all, y'all. That shit's good as fuck. But that balut, man, I don't fuck with it, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna let y'all fuck with it. I can't do it. Richard says not eating. It. My wife eats. That's crazy, I man. Shout out to the wife for eating it, bro. Because it's like it's crazy, it's crazy. But then it's like, I feel like I feel like uh like my wife's Mexican, right? So the craziest thing that I think I've seen them eat, uh. And it doesn't even sound that bad anymore, but like, uh, uh, like, like, uh, like menudo. It's like the 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 stomach lining of the cow or, or whatever the fuck it's called. Like, I've tried that before. Like, it's not bad. It's weird. It's kind of sp spongy. Um, but yeah, it's like you know what I'm saying. Every every country kind of got a little bit of, you know, a little some some to it. It's all good though. It's all good though. It's crazy. It's crazy. Sportacular says Sneed said him and Cheeto going to put hands on guys. Also, how do you feel about Traylon coming into minicamp out of shape? Yeah, I, I said that, bro. Uh, Traylon Burks looks like like he's not eat, like he's chubby or something. I don't know what happened, bro. I hope it was just what he was wearing. Um, if anything, knowing that it's contract year, basically knowing that you know what I'm saying, like you have an opportunity to really ball out and then go get a a, a pretty decent contract. I mean, it's not gonna be a max contract, but you can get a decent contract from somewhere. And the fact that you're not even taking it serious when football's supposed to be your life, that's a problem, bro. Like, the work ethic is an issue for me. Uh, but Cheeto and Sneed, yeah, good luck. They're going to beat your ass. That first five yards, they're allowed to do what they want, so we'll see. Uh, Mike Cole says, I went ice fishing like four years ago, and it got down to negative 20, had ice on my eyelashes. That's crazy. I wouldn't know what to do about that. He uh, Titan Cell says, Pasoli is fire. I, I don't like Pasoli is... Basole is so mid, bro. All it is is, what, hominy. You could have a little bit of pork in there or whatever the fuck. The sauce is, I mean, you add a little bit of salt. It's mid, bro. I'm going to keep it 100. It's mid. It's mid. He said, I had pozole last night with tostadas. I mean, they always, they should always come with tostadas for sure. Uh, a lot of people will put the uh, the sour cream or mayonnaise on the, uh, or both, on the tostada. A little bit of lime and stuff like that. Yeah, I know how it is. I, I don't fuck with that stuff, though. Like, the pozole to me is just, it's it's just a filler. It's kind of bland. It's just like a bland, kind of like a like a soup, almost. It's it's whatever. 
Big Dog says, I would have spent my whole offseason getting in shape. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you got millions of dollars on the line, and you're going to sit there and fuck around and not be in shape? You should have came in there looking like the Terminator. What the fuck? Richard said, they eat a lot of pork in the Philippines. Uh, yeah. What do they call that? Uh, um, they got that lechon and shit, too. Is that is that Philippines? I'm not sure. I know that's, like, kind of like... Uh, they got a lot of that over there in, in that area, though. Um, I've never tried it, though, to be honest. That lechon, le, 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 lechon, I'm not sure how to say it, but uh, that pig, uh, rotisserie pig, and the skin is all, all uh, um, is all like uh, crispy and shit. I couldn't think of the word. I was like crackly, cre creaky. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Titanus says we should trade Burks to the Steelers, like everyone is saying. Get a fifth or a sixth, maybe even higher. We'll see, bro. I wouldn't mind it. I I, I would like to at least get a fourth, though. That'd be. I mean, you're not getting a third for him. Slapdash says, do you feel like the Titans are going to be a playoff contenders? Uh, ask me after the draft. Michael M says Menudo has fire. Yeah, Menudo Menudo is not bad. It, it it's really not. I think the the gelatin. The, there's stuff in there that doesn't even look like the stomach. Uh, it's like this jelly gelatin looking stuff. It literally looks like see through jello gelatin. I don't know what that stuff is. I I don't know what it is. I I'm not sure. Um, but that's the stuff in the Menudo specifically that I just can't fuck with. That. It, that consistency and the, that, that, yeah, I don't fuck with it. I can't do it, bro. Uh, Richard says it's not actually that bad, yeah. Uh, Denicia, how do you say, is that how you say, Denicia Alawami. What is that? What's your, uh, if you don't mind, what's your ethnic, where, where's your, uh, like, where, where's your, where are you from? That, that name, uh, Alawami, that sound like, uh. What is that? It sounds like, was like French or something? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm fucking way off. I don't know, bro. Oh, shit. Um, kind of sounds like, uh, uh, Olu, uh, Olu. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, that's crazy. That, that's probably, that's just could have reminds me of that blocker. Olu Fashanu. Or Fashanu, sorry. Big dog in the building. Nashville, but it's Nigerian. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. I was way off. I said French. Did I say French? I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> I said French, bro. I'm done. Get back in the basement. T A. Just kidding. I don't know what the fuck that means. Get in the basement. I don't even have a basement, bro. I don't got a basement. If I had a basement, though, like for real. I, like that shit would that that shit would be turned into a complete downstairs Titans room. Like that's what it would be. I just don't have a basement. I love it, man. What's up, fellas? Is that Goku the 49er fan? No way. That can't be the same Goku. Don't fucking play with me like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy what the fuck hey we've been live for about an hour you guys get those likes in get those comments make sure you guys subscribe man we'll do some more stuff later man we'll do some more stuff later we'll do some more stuff later get off right now and kind of just chill you know what i mean just wanted to go live for a little bit and say what's up to everybody sports tackler said feel bad for farley also a first round pick just goes to show that j-rob didn't know how to draft his best draft pick got uh, traded on draft, dude. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. Yeah, Zeke. Hopefully, that's the plan. Hopefully, the plan's always to win them all, right? <laughs> well, guys, hey, we got two more minutes, y'all. Two more minutes. Get your final comments in here. We're gonna reach that one hour mark and cut this shit. I appreciate y'all so much for being here. Hopefully, you guys had fun today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the show. Remember, we go live all the time, so like, you know what I mean, like. <laughs> yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that bell for notification alerts. Join the Discord. Join the channel memberships. Uh, mods, I asked y'all. Y'all ain't saying shit in the Discord, bro. Like, I'm trying to incorporate y'all on the emojis. If you guys don't want to help me out with the emojis, and, 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 go, and then I'll just choose them all myself. It's no big deal. But <laughs> I wanted you guys to be incorporated in that because you guys do so much work. So I want you guys to be able to kind of, you know what I'm saying? The custom emojis, I want y'all to choose them too. So, um, 
Yeah, man, I appreciate everybody for being here, man. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate y'all, man, for real. It's been fun, man. We've been live for an hour or so. We're going to cut it off right now. I'm Titan Anderson. You can't spell Titans without putting that T-A in it. I love y'all, man. I appreciate you guys more than you ever know, man. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. Let's go. We're closing in, baby. We are closing in on the NFL draft. Put it in the comment section when this shit ends. Who do you guys want to draft? Let's go. Wow.